in medical circles as hemorrhoids, pals locally referred to as skoko, has become the chronic disease that most people have to live with throughout their lives. Pals or koko is a very common condition affecting people of all categories and race, poor and rich, rural and urban, male or female, adults from about 20 years to old age. Today, people visit hospitals with various degrees of pals or koko. Others have also resorted to numerous methods of curing this ailment resulting in this chronic stage that could be very dangerous if not properly treated. The most common is the rampant use of any herbal preparation reportedly as a cure for the chronic pals. Though humanity is turning to natural herbs for the cure of diseases, we need to institute measures that will ensure good health delivery. Because the health hazards that these so-called pals medicines cause are so devastating that it needs the concerted efforts of all and sundry to tackle this problem of drug abuse and misdiagnosis of health conditions as PALS. PALS affects only human beings due to the upright stature. The condition is so widespread in Ghana that almost all the herbal medicines produced are said to treat PALS, Gugu. This condition has led to the proliferation of herbal drug peddlers who were a common sight at vantage points in the community to lure people to try the herbal preparation. Me did the Cynthia meta my dream special yam te coco and you coco drain se coco nephi fruit one who bet me I am now din kutafla now the akeka or two moons or best she open so I bet me an one na the old moja nephew but so up I would best my ship it as no one sis drones over our lorry stations and markets have become open air educational centers on paths out of desperation the public gather around these peddlers who have a message for them. Some are very helpful, others are quack herbalists. Pals come in three stages. First degree, there is slight protrusion of mucosa and bleeding while the affected person is passing stool. Second degree, the pals must produce from the anals while passing stool and it returns when pushed inside. 
Third degree, the mask remains outside the anal opening all the time causing great discomfort in addition to bleeding, constipation and resultant anemia and fatulence. People resort to these herbs because they are afraid of surgical operation that forms part of the treatment of certain stages of hemorrhoids and its complications. The palliative treatment in the form of suppositories does not also help much since these patients have recurrences. Hemorrhoids or pals are caused by redundancy of part or all of the tissue lining the muscular tube, which is the anal canal. Prolonged constipation results in hard fecal masses rubbing against the mucous membrane as the bolus makes its way out of the anal canal. However, the traditional herbal and healers association has a strong view of herbs as the appropriate method of curing pals. It to be like a tree with branches. It is the branches which causes a lot of diseases, which we call them piles. For example, you know, in Africa, for instance, we eat a lot of starch foods like uh, okra, uh, just um, cocoa yam, uh, cassava, yam, and a lot. So by taking starch food for a longer time and without taking a uh, purgative, you know, sometimes your eye will be affected. You cannot see well, you cannot read well, and even by walking, you see that you cannot walk well because of the dimness of the eye. Considering the poverty in our society today, most of these people have no choice but to rely solely on herbal treatment for the cure of their piles. Though herbal treatment is good, the Ministry of Health would be doing the Ghanaian public a lot of good if the potential herbalists are given the necessary assistance and encouragement that would help them develop and weed out the quarks in their fold. Hemorrhoids, otherwise known as PALS, can be treated by modern methods known as ring hemorrhoid dectomy. Private hospitals are making valuable contributions to the achievement of the government's goals of providing health for all. The Asafo AJ Hospital is committed to supporting government plans to provide efficient and effective health care services to the entire population. the new management of hemorrhoids is the preventive measures which educate the patient on the causes and avoidance of the recurrence when it is treated by modern methods. There are certain foods and drinks which cause bleeding in patients with pals. These include alcoholic beverages of any kind, too much sweet and bitters, okra, cola and hot pepper. Patients are advised on having a regular passing of good-sized soft stool and include a regular diet of fruits and vegetables that allow free motion of bowels. Other causes such as straining or increased intra-abdominal pressure in cough, sneezing, lifting of heavy objects, sizes, childbirth and obesity contributes to produce hemorrhoids. Many women date onset of pals from pregnancy. There is no doubt that the general softening of collagen which occurs during pregnancy and the severe stretching to which all the perineal tissues are subjected during parturition frequently combine to start the process. The patient is helped by the use of the new system of pulse treatment recently introduced into the country by this hospital called the ring hemorrhoidectomy. Unlike most herbalists who only sell herbal preparations to pulse patients without diagnosis, at this hospital the doctor thoroughly examines the patient to diagnose the pulse. It is at this point that the doctor can assess the degree of pulse and recommend the appropriate treatment. Now the instrument is in place. Now. How do you determine if you have pulse? Many 
many people think they have pies. It may not be pies. Others have pies, but they don't know. So we're doing this screening by examining, using the protoscope to examine them in order to ascertain the veracity of whether they have pies or not. And this is what we have been doing uh, since this morning. And we have a lot of patients who are gathered around to uh, avail themselves of this opportunity. Have pies in there, it will still be maintained. After diagnosing the powers, the patient is educated on the causes and possible preventive methods that can help cure the powers. Other cases, depending on the degree of pulse, are referred to the laboratory for test. The laboratory test helps in determining the type of medication to prescribe for a particular patient. has to be done in very hygienic environment. Sterilization of medical tools is very important to avoid any infection from one patient to the other. Asafo AJ Hospital is renowned for treatment of pals. The initiative of building a hospital was developed some 10 years ago by Dr. Asafo Ajay and Nani Frimpong. I represented the country at the World Maker Assembly in Ireland, Dublin. Uh, in 1978, it dawned on me that the facilities at the hospital was not good enough uh, for my liking. So I decided to branch out. So in 1978, I came out and uh, started the Asafoje Hospital. After graduating from the Ghana Medical School, Dr. Asafo Eje, a member of the Ghana Medical Association, has gained international reputation for his invaluable services to humanity in the field of medicine. He was made Man of the Year 1991-92 by the International Biographical Center for Cambridge, England. He was named Man of Achievement 1993-94 by the same center. It is these laudable achievements that attracted the admiration of people in reputable positions like Otunfo Opokuwari, the Asantehini. Though the first and second degree pulse could be treated as an outpatient, the third stage of pulse, often referred to as prolapsed pulse, can only be cured by operative procedure in an institution as an indoor patient. Yaoba, a pulse patient at the hospital, suffered the health hazards that some of the herbal preparations can cause. This has resulted in a third degree pulse with the mass coming outside the inner opening. Yes, uh, this patient came in uh, about four days ago. Uh, apparently, he had some problem in the anus, and he applied some local preparation to the anus. 
And within a matter of four hours, it, he came in with a very big swelling around the end of the pipe. This has reduced to about half the original size. And it's become necrotic and uh, gangrenous as a result of the application of the local herbs. And this is the reason why we want the public to know that there is a way of treating piles without causing so much discomfort as you see now, because uh, this is going to put him down for a period of about three weeks. Whereas if you are coming and uh, we examine him, we've done it, it will be just a matter of a uh, few days to be off. I've been a bad so I Sometimes the ring hemorrhoidectomy is an outpatient treatment only. There is no operative cutting or need for anesthetic. The procedure is painless and so it is really not an operation in the real sense. A special rubber ring is applied over the base of the pulse by the use of direct vision through a protoscope and a pulse gun. The procedure takes only three to five minutes and the patient can go home and do his normal work. The rings do their job of thrombosis that is clotting of the pulse mass which gets fibrous gradually and in three to seven days the mass is passed out together with the rings in the stool of the patient. The pulse disappear thus effecting a total cure. Second degree pass, and we looked at it, and it was hemorrhagic. So we put these. Uh, these are the sort of rings that we use, and we mount it on these instruments. This is called the pass gun. So we stretch it over to this uh, central cylindrical uh, metal. So when this is ready, we pass the instrument through a proctoscope. And this proctoscope is lighted, so we can see what we are doing. And we hold the pile mass with this instrument, which is the pile holding forceps. And it goes through the uh, pile gun, draws the pile mass towards the gun, and releases the rubber bands. And it goes to the basis of the pile mass, and that's all. And by so doing, the pile mass is coagulated by the tight rubber bands. Uh, the patient is sent home. It's a painless procedure. It takes about three to five minutes to do. And uh, you can line up a whole lot of patients to do this uh, within a very short time. 
and uh, it is very convenient for our nation where the poverty rate is uh, very high and people are ignorant about the health and as such this can help them you can do it as uh, Paris camp in rural areas you can gather as many people as possible to do them and uh, uh, it's, a, it's a very good uh, thing for our, uh, our fellow citizens. The ring hemorrhoidectomy is well established at the Esafu AJ hospital. Many of its advantages include its non-traumatic nature, no need of anesthetic, an outpatient treatment quick and well suited to the poor and the rural population of the country. Ignorance and poverty have limited most people from having modern medical facilities. As of now, thousands of cases have been treated successfully at Asafo AJ Hospital. Really, I was suffering from this pile, and I was buying these native uh, medicines. I bought different, different, any time I hear this is for piles, this is for bleeding, then I go in to buy all these medicines. And I took it, took it, but it didn't uh, solve any problem until I heard of uh, Dr. Asafuji and then came for treatment. For his instructions, I obeyed, and then now I've seen that uh, uh, I will recommend Dr. Asafuji to anybody. <laughs> The ring hemorrhoidectomy procedure of curing pals has proved to be a fountain of blessing to our poor and rural population who suffer from this very common and debilitating ailment. <laughs>